Cheers, and welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren, and today I am going to be looking at a Ted Nivisian, Nivisian? Not sure. Video. This one is, which liquid works best in cereal? This is a video that he did with uh, Schlott, I believe. Um, and I've, I've seen Ted before, but only in Eddie Burback videos. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm also expecting to be horrified. Um, knowing what I know about both of those men, I'm expecting um, to be absolutely disgusted by quite a lot. Also based on the thumbnail, I'm expecting to be disgusted by quite a lot. Um, but I've got my wine so I can wash down all of my disgust with uh, Prosecco Rosé. <laughs> it's hot out and that's what is happening. Cereal. It's the world's oldest breakfast food and the one with the richest history. For those of you who are cereal connoisseurs, you may remember the cereal battle of 1835. I know that your uh, your great grandfather. Yeah, uh, he was. He died in that. Yes, he Thanks died. For dredging that up. But one of the interesting things about cereal, we always use it with milk. I'll tell you why. Because big milk has a grip on the economy. The motherfucking suits it, big milk. And they've told us that it's not even acceptable, they've, not even socially acceptable to drink milk with anything else. They've got the blue collar worker by their balls and they're squeezing it for all the milk they can get. <laughs> Even though I'm the milkman, Schlatt and I are a little bit unconvinced that milk is the only option when it comes to consuming cereal. So right now, Schlatt and I, are, we're gonna head off to the supermarket and acquire a plethora of various liquids that we will now be trying with cereal. Schlatt, I will tell your mother. No! my lime green Tesla. I rented it and I will not be returning it because there's a feature in this car that I really like. That's rancid. Welcome to Pavilion, Schlatt. This is the new Wegmans. Really? This is the is new it? Wegmans. What the fuck is Wegmans? Wegmans is a fantastic grocery store. It's mostly on the East Coast. I think it's New York and south like new york to maryland they have it we used to have a wegmans near where i lived it was good stuff they had like a fantastic candy aisle it was wonderful Flat, how do you feel about cold brew i love cold brew that's good <laughs> some premium black coffee <laughs> classic margarita jesus christ bro <laughs> I th hey man. I mean, you're start? still killing two birds with one stone. The alcoholic breakfast. Right. They're just gonna see us walk out with like 50 different drinks and a box of fucking Cheerios and be like, what is going, what is going on here? We're gonna find the shittiest beer and use that as the base as oh one of them. <laughs> getting a 30 pack of Natty. Natty? Oh, God. Why are you getting that much Natty? Oh, that means you have to drink that at some point. Ugh. Get, get some nice extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. Mmm, delicious. Capri, Capri Sun. Sun, Pacific Coolers. I'll be right back. Someone's got an idea. That's not a liquid. You did not. I did. That's not a liquid. That's a condiment. You would have to do, no. I was gonna say you gotta do hot sauce or something if you wanna do a condiment that's a liquid, but then they paused on dishwashing liquid. That is like, I was gonna say toxic, but then I remember I did get my mouth washed out with soap a lot as a child and that was probably fine. No, that's not edible. We're gonna do dish soap. No, that, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> we did, we did <laughs> Man's just been eating All right, the ladies whole time. and germs, we've just returned from the grocery store <laughs> and we've. All right, so what do we got? We got milk, we got water, we got margarita, we got lemonade, lemon juice, Martinelli's apple juice. Martinelli's apple juice is lit, by the way. It's super good. Uh, Capri Sun, cold brew, Coke, olive oil, Red Bull, tang, bang, uh, LaCroix, Natty Light, some other kind of water mayo is that pickles 
dill, egg whites, and dishwasher. They did go with the dishwashing. And then there's Mio at the end there. That's gonna be interesting. Got our entire fucking spread of various liquids that we're gonna be working on today. The smorgasbord. Without further ado, let's just get into the taste testing of these damn liquids. <laughs> 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 For the sake of having a control in this video on what liquid works best with cereal, we are going to be only using Honey Nut Cheerios. In Regular this Cheerios are fine, but they kind of make you want to kill yourself. We need something with a mascot that reminds you of Jerry Seinfeld. So we're going to begin with our first liquid of the day, milk. El milk. Classico. Just a tiny bit. Just a, just a smidge. That's pleasant. It's pleasant. It's nice. It, it sits in the mouth well. The flavor gets in the milk. It's hard to deny the boys at Big Milk. They could have chose something a lot worse. They could have chose, you know, piss. I don't know how successful that would have been. I personally don't really think that lactose intolerance exists. Just power through it. Just do it. What, you're gonna get, you're gonna have some diarrhea later? Everybody uh, poops. Sack up. Next up in our series of liquids, we've got... Hot takes from the boys today. Water. <laughs> I've heard that people do use water. My mom uses water. As a cereal, Sometimes, as yeah. a cereal base? She'll put water in her frosted flakes because it moistens it. This one relies heavily on the base cereal. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I could do it. I wouldn't want to though. It's honestly not that bad. The water also turns brown, which is fucking disgusting. There's some view of the of the brown water. <laughs> it's like you like tap water. That's not, that's just, okay, what would you rate water? Out of 10? Oh yeah. Maybe a five. Yeah, like a 5.5. I feel like maybe that will go up in estimation by the end of this video. Can we uh, change our rankings eventually? Oh, you're going decimals on me. Yeah. You think you're fucking smart. Next up, an interesting change in course. A Jose Cuervo <laughs> margarita. I'm gonna like this. <laughs> it's like when you're in the bathroom. go just fucking do it <laughs> the key is to suck all the margarita down oh and then chew the cereal that's not what i was doing <laughs> four tops, four tops. that's like a three for listen me. you don't understand how worse it's gonna get ted we've got lemonade at least now we have margaritas that we can uh, drink with it as we go down. That's better than the margarita. It's way better than the margarita. Yeah. Because oh, of that, there is a bit of a dichotomy there that's just making me be like, oh, this is pretty good. Because I just had a <laughs> fucking margarita yeah. in my cereal. Four and a half. <laughs> I'd give it a five. It just gets worse, folks. Lemon juice. Oh, fuck. Why that is really that so much? That really came out in a gurgly way, didn't it? It did. Oh, shit, that's bad. That's sour. That's sour. That completely yeah. masks the flavor of the uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh my god, there's nothing there but lemon. Definitely like a two and a half. <laughs> I'll give that a yeah. three because I feel like it's going to get even worse. The one and only Martinelli's Apple Juice. Is this the bottle that if you crunch on it, it sounds like an apple? Yeah. Oh, It does though. Like the plastic ones at least. I don't think the glass ones do, but the plastic ones, you can bite it and it sounds like an apple. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, that's not that bad at all. No, that's just a sweet, chewy apple juice. It's the honey that goes yeah. with the apple yeah. there. And then you just have something to chew on. Mm. Wow. I could totally eat that. I'll give that a six okay. and a half. Yeah, I'll probably give that a six and a half too. Maybe even a seven. He is weak-minded. He just follows everything I say. This is my <laughs> fucking channel, all right? Don't let me get... You want... I love the Fight Club filter. Want me to get the big guy? We're moving on. Get your fucking cereal. We've got Capri Sun next. Dude, that is like <laughs> a squirrel pissing. Does it work? <laughs> Let's find out. Uh, same thing as apple juice. Yeah. It doesn't have the creaminess of the milk. That's what's missing from this whole situation. And I feel like it's been years since I've had that feeling. You know what that is? What That's is that? big milk. He's got you by the balls and he's milking you. And he's twisted. He's twisting you. He's giving you that CBT, that sweet, <sighs> sweet, juicy, hot <laughs> cock. <laughs> I'll give this one a six. I'll give it a 5.9. We're moving on from the juice section of this review of various liquids. Maybe you could have this in the morning. Coffee. This is a cold brew black coffee. There's a very small amount of people in the world. Ooh. The very small, 
a percentage of people in the world, I think, that like black coffee. I feel like this is just a, a big waste of good cold brew. And having it with cereal, I don't know if that's going to be necessarily an improvement. No. It's like staring into the depths of hell. Ooh. It's, it, smells it smells good. good. It, smells it smells good. good. Oh. Oh. It had a good start. It had a good start. It felt good going in. I was surprised. I was like, oh, man, this is going to be, oh, no, 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 no. And all <laughs> the bitterness hit you at once. Yeah. But it I still like is just coffee. black coffee, which sucks. I will give that a three. Yeah. They should have gotten a coffee that they like then. I would have been curious to see what they had to say about a coffee that they actually like. I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna give this like a three and a half. We have now entered what I like to call the danger section of the video. On this side was the intro drinks. Besides the margarita, I don't think we had anything really crazy going on there. But now, we're sort of entered into the chaos zone. That's the appropriate. Are you moaning while you're huh? How do you feel about this upcoming one? Sexy. No, never mind. It's Coca Cola, ladies and gentlemen. It's Coca Cola. We're going to be having cereal with Coca Cola. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay. Holy shit. That's weird looking. Bombs away. <laughs> Bombs away. Oh, mm, God. No. Mm. The fizziness should not be going on while you're crunching. No. When you have things to eat, <laughs> there shouldn't be bubbles. Yeah. Um, that's a fucking two out of ten for me. Oh my god. A, it sucked going in, but towards the end it got a little better. It's olive oil, guys. We're doing olive oil. Anything you want to say to the people at home? It's highly caloric. Is it? One tablespoon is 130 calories. That's because you cook things with it, and it enhances the flavor once it's sizzled into the food. Oh. I did one time when I was cooking. <laughs> um, I had... I <laughs> I had a bottle, like a screw top bottle. I don't remember what was in it, but I had a bottle and I had the olive juice, olive oil and well, I made the wrong decision at one point. Um, and then I had to buy the apartment a new bottle of olive oil because when I, I like took a swig and then immediately spat it back into the, the bottle because I was like the worst and then uh and then I was like wait a minute this was an almost full bottle of olive oil that we now cannot use in this house so like oops it doesn't taste good y'all no yeah just, just the essence of it just is the essence need. of it I don't think I've ever had a tablespoon on its own no. of, and we're about to have that because we're going to take it one bite we're about to have 130 calories worth in one bite <laughs> Fuck oh, me. so no. much. Fuck me. Oh, no. Why? That's such a waste of olive oil. <laughs> Some for you, too, my friend. Oh, thank you. It sounds like someone throwing up. That is more viscous than anything we've had. That is... Why would you do that much? Like, that's such a waste of olive... Can you... Are they getting, like, their money... Like, I mean, I'm assuming they're... Assuming they're gonna get their money back on that, but olive oil can be expensive. That is coming. Hey, welcome to LA. Cheers. It's not that bad. <laughs> oh, bad. Oh, oh, the oh, swallow, no. the swallow <laughs> portion's <laughs> bad. Schlatt's washing his mouth out right now with. Well, you'd have to. It'll get stuck. It gets stuck in there. Water. I was extremely surprised at first because I was, it wasn't yeah. bad. It wasn't bad at first. But then you swallowed. And you realize, oh my god, I've got a bunch of fucking oil in my mouth. That's a one. One. one I, I'd say one point five because of like at least it wasn't bad the whole way. God, fucking bad vibes from the from the olive oil. I feel like I'd be willing to give. I like that they're not. They have like the trilon whatever the syrup, the coffee syrup in the back. They have, they have a coffee syrup in the bag. It's like, what is that? Is that, I can't see. Is that like hazelnut or something? Whatever. They've got one of them in the back there and they are not using it for this little extravaganza. If anything, it's over a five at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Red Bull. Ted, you ever wanted to fly? I've always wanted to fly. Really? You don't even need to drink Red Bull to fly. Oh yeah? You just walk outside into Los Angeles, go down a uh, fucking Hollywood Boulevard and get some, get some homeless person to shoot a fucking needle in your arm. Then you're flying. What you know about, about rolling down? down. <laughs> it looks like motor oil. It does look like motor oil. Cheers to getting high. Oh, no. I, 
I just think I don't like Red Bull. Red Bull has a very specific type of flavor. It's not good. It is not the fucking war crime that, <laughs> that olive, oil olive oil was. was. Yeah. <laughs> I give it a four. Really? Wow. It's not too bad. It's wow. Too bad. Okay. Of course, we've got this energy. I think Ted and I went to the same octave there at the same time, like, which wasn't expected, but I wasn't expecting it to be a four. Granted, I was expecting all of these to be terrible, but that's also, I mean, I don't, I haven't eaten cereal in years, and even when I did eat cereal, I tended to eat it dry. Because, like, a lot of time when I, when I started doing that, it was because um, I didn't feel like getting up to get to the bus any breakfast so i would just grab a baggie of cereal and run out to the bus at the last possible second in middle school so like so I'm like all right whatever and then i would just eat it during first period usually just like sit there crunching on my like crunch berries or marshmallow mateys or something because we did not buy brand name cereal <laughs> but like and i did that for all through like middle and high school because I was like, I did not feel like waking up to make breakfast and sit down at the table and eat it. I was like, nah, last possible second. Energy drink here. But do you know what else other energy drink exists? Chlat? What? Bang! <laughs> Bang energy Bang. Is, the, is the next thing we're drinking. Ted, we're almost done. Shut your fucking mouth. This is Woo! the sour head flavor. I'm a bit of a sour head. Oh, yeah? I had no follow-up joke for that. You got a big head, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, that's so fucking mean. It's oh. not good, but it's not terrible. No, it's not good. You don't like it that much? No, I, hate part I fucking hate that. I think it's oh, at wow. a base level. I think I just don't like bang. No! Bang! Five. <laughs> five? Five? A five? I like it. I don't think I've ever had bang. I've never had a bang energy drink. I've had Red Bull. I used to have a lot of Red Bull. And then I kind of moved on to some of the monsters and I would drink some monsters and now like, and I'm just so like, I have to be so careful though about like a lot of the energy drinks that I, I do drink because I can't do like a lot of the artificial food colorings, like the red forties and the yellow whatever's like, I, I usually can't do those. They, um, make my throat close up. So a lot and a lot of energy drinks have a lot of artificial flavorings in them. So like I can't do them. So I just I stick to the ones that I know aren't going to make it hard for me to breathe or swallow. <laughs> I'd give this a three. Definitely worse than the Red Bull. I don't know what I gave the Red Bull. Next up, we've got the essence of water. Raz Cranberry LaCroix. LaCroix sucks. <laughs> LaCroix doesn't taste good. This is not as bad as many of the other drinks yeah. we've had. Four and a half, fuck LaCroix. <laughs> Frat bros <laughs> of the world. I mean, except he didn't. All right, good. Well, Ted, you can't call yourself a frat bro of the world. Oh, no, no. It's about to do the natty light. I thought he was going to say because he slammed the, uh, he, you know, hit the can. But. I was like, he didn't even do it right. So it's like, he can't call himself a frat bro for that. But no, they're about to drink the Natty Light. Salt it. Today's your day to shine, my friends. It's time, hey, boys, Daddy. because today we're drinking Natty Light. My dad's a big lawyer, and he's going to get you for beating me up, Trend. Trend? Trend. <laughs> Trend? His name is Trend. He was beaten up by a guy named Trend. Uh, yeah, because wow. his name is Bertram. Yeah, <laughs> Bertram. Yeah, putting beer in cereal. His name is Bertram Willingham the Third. Oh, I like that. No, I like it. You're doing another bite. That's good. Really? Yeah, I've never had Natty Light in my entire life. Either. Oh, really? And I and I'm just now learning that it tastes good with Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm feeling a, uh, <laughs> no. a six. six. I'm feeling a six no. on the Natty. Oh no, no. Schlatt's taste buds are broken. They are broken. I will say I did his cookie tier list uh, video recently, and I had never had, like the one of the cookies that he uh, suggested the most was Tate's, and I had never heard of Tate's cookies, but I just recently discovered some at an outlet mall in Wisconsin. So I tried some and they were actually quite good. He was not wrong about how good the Tate's cookies were, but 
Because Natty Light, no, never, never, ever, ever. Natty, I've had Natty Light like twice, both times in college, and neither time did I manage more than a couple of sips. I was like, this is disgusting. I'll drink the jungle juice. A pioneer! This is like... I'm an explorer! <laughs> You're not American! Come here! Come here! I got a life force! It's got hot cum going through it fast! I enjoyed it a lot. I don't, I don't, I don't get I that. I really liked it. So Schlatt introduced me to this concept. Thick water, Ted, is what they give to old people when their jaws don't work anymore and they need to suck things rather viscous. Nectar. It's gonna be like a nectar. Oh. Oh. Let's just jump into it, ladies and germs. Give it a good pour. Oh, oh no. That is me. weird looking. This is what we have to look forward to, Ted. The spoonful looks like an arts and crafts project. It does look like it's covered in glue. If this is an arts and crafts project. That's the first time that my gag reflex has been activated. You you gagged from that? There was something in it that was like coating my mouth. That's that's two. That's two. Oh, the sound it Yuck. makes. That's a sin. I'm going bombs away on this. I dare you to chug it. What do I get? I want to chug it. I want to chug it. Two crisp $20 bills. $40. I'm fucking rich, Ted. I don't need, I don't need two crisp $20 bills. I'm a bills. businessman. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm rich. Cha-ching. I mean, even if I was rich, I don't think I'd turn down $40, especially if it was a friend giving them to me. I would take those 20s. I don't know if I would chug the water, though. His face, he's getting red. <laughs> is he? His shot's like, This is how I die. Mommy! <laughs> Two crisp 20s, baby, ladies and gentlemen. I can't do it. You can't do it? Yeah, wash it down with some tequila. Don't know why Schlatt chose this one, but the next uh, liquid, it's not really a liquid. Yeah, it's not a liquid. That's what I was saying. It's not a liquid. You need to do something like hot sauce if you're gonna do a liquid condiment. It's mayonnaise, guys. Schlatt wanted to. You could maybe get away with relish. That's liquidy. But in general, no, it's like if you're gonna do a condiment, it's gotta be something liquid. This one doesn't count. Do mayonnaise. And here it is. Oh, Ted, you don't have to do it from that far off, Ted! It will certainly taste moist. Oh my fucking God. I cannot do that shit. There's no fucking way, Ted. That's worse than the thick water. You're the one, you brought that? That's worse than the fucking thick water. Okay, man? That's worse than the fucking olive oil, It was bro. your idea. That's a, that's point a, that's one. A, that's a point, point one. Yeah, point that's one. a point one. That is the worst one by far. That's really bad. That's, that is gross. We're going down a dark path, guys. <laughs> Pickle juice. Why do we do all these at the end, bro? You know what you should have did? Ooh, I'm now I'm thinking of all of these like horrible juices that I've seen in the grocery store lab. The clam juice, dude. Should have done clam juice. That would have been nasty. Why didn't we just- I don't know. It's got a lot of stuff swimming around in it. Ah! You got the, you got to just focus on the Honey Nut Cheerios. Mm -hmm. Just focus on the Honey Nut. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> fucking God. Better than me. The title of the video focus on the honey nut focus on the honey nut oh. <laughs> seriously though oh i can make that face but seriously horrid yeah, better than i hate pickles though it's like i don't really like anything pickled at all so like this would have just i would be done i would way be better than better mayo. than mayo but still one one of the hardest one 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 but you know what will be worse slap what's that Liquid dish soap is the answer to that, Schlatt. Yep, yeah. If product gets into eyes, flush thoroughly with water. If swallowed, drink a glass full of water. Here we go. This is the final one, Schlatt, for all the marbles. It smells pleasant. <laughs> oh no, it's a mixture between thick water, but it's not edible. It's not <laughs> edible. Why are we doing this? Are you gonna swallow this? It's cereal. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to swallow it. 
It's literal soap. How are you not going to no. smell it? How are you going to know what it tastes like? I actually picked this because I knew I'd be better at it than you. The amount of times I've said bad words in front of my mommy, and she took me to the sink and put a bar of dial in my mouth. Yep. No, like I said, I had to... I had to... I had a lot of soap in, in my mouth as a kid. <clears throat> I got my mouth washed out with soap all the time. Between the ages of, like, three and six probably i don't remember if it happened too much after that but like definitely a lot when i was young called it cleaning my mouth out because some dirty words were in it yeah yeah washing your mouth out with soap that's what happened to me it happened to me if i took the lord's name in vain so uh that that lesson didn't stick holy fucking sh also i swear like a fucking sailor so granted so does my mom Shit, all right. Well, you can't actually swallow that. That's <laughs> my fault. I was confident, like, until five seconds in. Ah! <laughs> ah! Fuck! Shalad has drank so much of that margarita. I don't think I'd ever be able to drink a margarita again. Actually, you know, I kind of want to use this as my thumbnail. Usually I use their thumbnail, but I think I want to use this as mine. <laughs> this just sums up the video perfectly. <laughs> oh my god. All right, 1647 and 26. All right. Those are the those are my timestamps that I got to remember. I actually thought you were gonna swallow. I thought you were. I was ready to. Yeah. I was ready to, and real until I realized, oh, this is this is will be physically impossible. Like I subconsciously rejected it. Six out of ten. <laughs> That's a little low, in my opinion. I'd probably really? give it a seven out of ten. And thanks for watching. Thanks so much, ladies and germs, for watching this video. If you liked me and Schlatt interacting in this video, then you may like the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast, which is a podcast we have together with our buddy Charlie Slimesicle that is available on Spotify and on the Chuckle Sandwich YouTube channel. Like the video. Peace out. Bye. Hey folks, just letting you know that this video is sponsored by NordVPN. If you haven't heard of NordVPN, perhaps you've been living under a rock because Nord I like his yellow couch. I like this room that he's in right now with the yellow. Not anything to do with NordVPN, but I do like his his yellow couch. NordVPN is the premier VPN service that is gosh darn criminally easy to use, my guy. You may be asking yourself, well, Ted, what's a VPN? What's in it for me? Show me the goods. Well, calm down for a, a second. Let me tell you. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. It's a service that protects your internet connection and right, privacy well, this video online. Is old, it creates an encrypted so tunnel for your this. data and protects your online anyway. identity by hiding your IP address. And it allows you to use public Wi-Fi hotspots safely. NordVPN is available on every major platform. If you're gonna watch 150 episodes of Naruto without stopping, I'm gonna do it without bandwidth throttling. Get that out of here. If you're interested in getting NordVPN for yourself, then you can go to nordvpn.com slash Nivison and use the code Nivison. Okay, that's how you say his name. I said, what did I say? Nivision or something? I said it wrong. Whatever I said was incorrect. Nivison. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and have a fantastic day, you little rascal. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> and you know, I think I, I think I called that right. I was kind of horrified um, and kind of just fascinated. Um, I've, I, like I said, I've seen uh, Ted before, um, in the, cause I've seen, um, the boat, like, a Eddie Burback's, like, Margaritaville and his, um, Rainforest Cafe videos, so that's how I found out about Ted Nibison, um, and Sha, I think, showed up in at least one of those videos. How did they all become friends? How did they... Anyway, not, not related, but, like, I mean, I've seen a bunch of videos from that entire, uh, cavalcade of creators i guess um if you think that any of those videos like from like i don't know drew goodin or uh danny gonzalez or any of that if you think any of that would be good for this channel let me know um because we can we can make that happen i like watching them in general but i don't know if anybody else has seen them so like i wouldn't mind uh if the if a new one comes out you know watching that but if you all want to see something like that let me know um
Because that could be fun. And like I said, I liked the Margaritaville and the uh, Rainforest Cafe videos. So um, I wouldn't mind making Kit watch them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you'll make sure that you'll always know when we post new videos. And if you hit the little notification bell, you'll know when exactly that happens. Um, we post uh, at least one video every single day of the week. Um, sometimes more. So you also can check out our other channels in the description box below. We have an anime channel where Kit... Colin, Kira, and I are all watching a different anime, um, and we have the Americans Learn channel where we watch um, just different videos, the videos that don't really fit on the Reacts channel, but like it's more history, there's science, there's comedy, there's music, um, so just like lots of random stuff over on that channel. Um, so go ahead and check those out, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!